At the very beginning of Episode 6, when Mon Mothma is briefing us on the mission, she says that so many Bothans gave their lives to get this information. I mean the second Death Star, and the fact that Palpatine himself will be there. Actually, it's worth starting at the beginning, which I'm going to do, so there's a race in the Star Wars universe called the Bothan. They live on the planet Botavui, and they have, shall we say, a very strong grudge against the Empire. And then, after Palpatine was gone, after the era of the New Republic, they never tired of reminding that, if it weren't for Bothan, you all would still be living under the Empire's oppression. And for some very strange reason, the nerds didn't mention that they'd been leaked the information about the Death Star, or that Palpatine would be there in person. You know he was just setting a trap for everyone, he's had enough of it. Obviously, at the time Bothan received this data, no one knew about it. And it seems to me that if a simple squadron commander in the New Republic knew about it, then probably more senior people knew about it, right? But for now, let's leave that fact alone and talk about this. The fact is that the official position of both the New Republic and the Empire was that the Empire disliked exotics, that is, non-humans, very much. As if the Empire oppressed them, did not let them work at prestigious positions, and in general, mocked them so much that they just couldn't eat, looking for ways to humiliate and insult poor and unfortunate exots. So let's try to understand whether there was actually any difference between exotics and humans for the Empire. Of course I can immediately say that there wasn't, but still, let me try to justify it from the point of view of logic. So, speaking of nerds, Bothans, among other things, were known as brilliant hackers, or, to put it in the local language, icebreakers. Hacking into any network was, for them, a matter of prestige. No, of course, not all of them were hackers. There were military men, and pilots, and just inhabitants of the planet. But there were quite a few hackers. And that's where the first question comes in. The thing is that a hacker is a reasonable person who needs several things for his activity. For example, a computer and access to the net. And so we have this very, very bad empire. So bad, in fact especially in regards to all sorts of exotics. I mean, they're non-humans, so you can do whatever you want with them. I heard about an Imperial officer who wanted something made out of Wookiee skin, and the problem was that the Wookiee's name was Chewbacca, and that's actually more or less straightforward. The Wookiees were being persecuted and humiliated, but the Bothans are a bit of a mess, you know. So a hacker needs a computer and access to the net. Very good. Now let's remember that all of these things like access to the computer network here called the Holonet, are controlled by the Empire. And something tells me that the Empire could easily eliminate that access, and to do it in such a way that no black or pirate connection will be possible. This isn't Earth, where you can get online in a lot of different ways. It's more complicated. For example, there is a repeater satellite in the planet's orbit which drives traffic in both directions. It can be assumed that there may be many such satellites near the planet, and thus the planet is connected to the Holonet. Obviously it was not written anywhere about it, but I'm a person who likes science fiction in general, and Star Wars in particular. So, it may well be that this is the solution that was used. Now the Empire, it seems to me, could easily shut down Batavua, not only from the net, but from anything, quarantine the planet. Make it so that no ship could enter the system and land on the planet, and if they can land, they can't take off. The way I see it, the Empire could easily pull that off. Why? Well, why not? After all, it's only Bothans, they are non-humans. What's the use of trifling with them, isn't it? But here's the thing. For some strange reason, it wasn't done. Moreover, even though I've read quite a few books, nowhere has it been written that Bothans have been discredited in any way. For example, there's Botan, a great hacker and generally a systems guy from the Force, and they put him to work as a janitor. Has anyone ever seen anything like that? Or is there anything like that at all? No? Moreover, the Empire sometimes behaved a little inhumanely towards people. There was a planet called Taprava, for example. Imperial Security Officer Curtin Law recalled what was going on there. By the way, he was a very clever man. I felt sorry for him at the end. The planet sheltered the Jedi after Order 66. And then the locals helped the rebel alliance with the data transfer. And as you know, no good deed goes unpunished, right? The Empire has retaliated. All the planet's cities and infrastructure fell under orbital strikes. 
The surviving locals live in makeshift tent cities and have to beg for food at imperial military bases. And if, if the force forbids, someone comes up with something that will improve life, make, for example, a lighter to make it easier to get fire, or something else will be invented. Basically, the settlement will just burn down, and its people, people like Palpatine or Tarkin or any of the other Imperials. And for some reason, no one talks about the Empire is bullying people, even though it is. Moreover, there were quite a few exotics living on the same Empire Center, as Coruscant was called under Palpatine. And not all of them lived in Nevisek. Many of them lived ordinary lives, apartments, cars, wives, mistresses, just like everyone else. Strange, isn't it? What's more, there were a lot of exotics working for the Empire, and I can even tell you why. The thing is, Palpatine couldn't help but realize that there are many different races in his Empire, and sure, it's possible to wipe out everyone but humans. Technically, it was probably even doable, but... But what if someone could be useful? And not just as slaves, like the Wookiees, but in some other way? Black Sun was useful, and there were quite a few exotics and humans working for it. The commander was a reptiloid of the Falian race, Huts again, and there was a Chiss among the Grand Admirals. Yes, Chisses are like humans, moreover, marriages with normal offspring are possible, but they are not humans. Bothans, yes, suffered under the Empire, so much so that they had their own air force, their own pilots, and access to the net. So what their suffering was I still don't understand. And no, I'm fine with the Bothan race after all. There was a Circe La, that general who helped the heroes when the Vong attacked, and so on. But alas, there were others like Borsk Felia, who was willing to do anything for power, 